Welcome on Monday mornings or Tuesday or whatever day it is in your life as we listen together of the devotion. I read this morning from Jeremiah, the Old Testament, chapter 31. I will be their God and they will be my people. They will no longer need to, to teach each other to say, know the Lord, because they will all know me from the least of them to the greatest, declares that the Lord, for I will forgive their surroundings or wrongdoings and never again remember their sin. This passage for Jeremiah, again, lifts up how, how many ways that God through the ages has tried to make all of God's people know that God is their God. How many of us today have shared with individuals that we follow God? I know during my time of rehab and physical therapy, I go three times a week for six weeks, that I got to know a different uh, physical therapist. And one of them said, no, I'm not a churchgoer, but I feel your energy. Is that God? And I said, well, you're, you're figuring out that, yes, through the pain that I'm, I have someone with me, uh, as well as you, that you are uh, God's light in this world. How do we know and how do we claim that relationship in our own lives? How do we claim that God is the center of our lives? As we journey to Jerusalem, the story of, of Jesus' life and how it unfolds in his death and resurrection is one way. But after Easter, how do we proclaim that we are the followers and that God is our God and that others may become to know the love of God through God's grace and mercy? Yes, we can share the, the life of Jesus. We can share the story of, of Pentecost. We can share other scriptures that may mean uh, to us something very special. But I think one of the things in the testimonies is how God is working in our lives and so that how people can see it and see that God is working. The scripture that speaks louder than words is our life. I believe that the words uh, from the scriptures work through us and in us, that we are one with God, one with each other. I hope that as we come closer and closer in this time, that next Sunday, yes, is is Palm Sunday, and we will see the children process in sim symbolically as Jesus came in on the donkey, that we will also be able to process in, become closer to Christ, and that we know that God is our God, and God is for this world, for all God's people. Again, I want to challenge each one of us to see how we might share the love of God or to let people know that they are part of God's journey. God's love and that they are a child of God and that we can journey on this journey together of God's love, life, and Christ's resurrection. I hope you'll think about it. It's challenging because we don't go around te giving testimony in publics or other places, but it's by our love. But sometime invite someone. Invite someone to I'd like you to know God. This is what God has done in my life. This is how I hope you can see God in my life. Can you see and, and challenge them uh, to see where God is working in this world? It's tough, I know, and sometimes it can be scary. But God gives us throughout time, as Jeremiah did, that we are all to know that God loves us, will forgive us, and yes, even when we are, are in the midst of brokenness. I hope again that you will share the love of God and share that all God's people are part of God's good creation. Let us pray. Thank you, God, for this day. Thank you for, as Jeremiah said, that you are a God for all God's people, and that we are to invite and share that love with others, to make them realize that you are in the world, in our lives, and in their lives. Oh, God, help us see, help us experience, and help us share that love, as only you can do in us and through us now and forevermore. Amen.